Motor Week is made possible by Rock Auto and Tire Rack. The Chrysler Corporation has certainly racked up more than a few successes in the last decade. Most of this has been due to their willingness to take big risk. But their biggest risk to date is to put the show car Plymouth Prowler Retro Roadster into volume production. Will a street Prowler be a sales success? Well, on a scale of 1 to 10, anticipation of the Prowler's arrival currently measures a solid 100. And we've been just as anxious to drive the production Prowler as everyone else. And now we have. When it comes to taking cars from concept to production, Chrysler is king and the Plymouth Prowler is just the latest prince in a long line of roadbound showstoppers. True to its street rod roots, Prowler styling is highlighted by a low-slung arrow-like stance. Cartoonish Nerf bar bumpers front a raked back cowcatcher grill. The chopped windshield and high belt line are wrapped in simple, elegant lines. It's a minimalist feast for the eyes. The creased front end, cycle fenders, and round rump may be straight out of happy days, but you can be sure this retro roadster is a state-of-the-art machine under the skin. A single-piece magnesium brace supports the entire dash assembly, saving weight and reducing vibrations. Over 900 pounds of aluminum are used in the Prowler for everything from the suspension, frame, and rear rotors to the doors, trunk, and hood. The result is a low curb weight of around 2,900 pounds. Beneath the hood is a 3.5-liter V6 engine borrowed from the current LH cars. But unique engine management software makes livelier use of its 214 horsepower and 221 pound-feet of torque. Look for the Prowler to receive a new 250 horsepower V6 next year. Most people are used to seeing the engine and the transmission hooked together. On this car, the transmission's in the back of the car. Okay, good. So you have a drive shaft hooked between the engine and the transmission which turns it engine speed, which is different for most people's line of thinking here. So we have taken a front wheel drive transmission, put in the back of the car so we have rear wheel drive. And that drive shaft spins a monstrous set of Goodyear EMT run flats, two 9540 HR20s to be precise, a first for a production car. The front end makes do with two 2545 17 inchers. There is no spare. Needless to say, the Prowler drew a crowd wherever we went, so the best way to get some quality seat time was to head for the hills. But even there, we couldn't keep the Prowler to ourselves for long. Carving through the mountain switchbacks, the Prowler really outshines the street rods of old. The exposed front suspension features inboard-mounted Coney shocks, and coupled with a multi-link SLA rear setup, makes for a spirited yet controlled ride. Steering is quick with nice on-center feel. Rough roads do induce a fair bit of axle hop and cowl shake, but overall we were impressed with our first drive. All Prowlers come equipped with the Auto Stick 4-speed automatic. Here it allowed us to hold second gear for longer periods, enjoying the rumbling exhaust and brisk acceleration between hairpins. Zero to 60 is a short 7.5 seconds. Braking duties are handled by four-wheel disc, but without the benefit of ABS. Stopping power was plentiful, though, over many a hill and dale. Compared to an early prototype we drove, the production Prowler shows great improvement in reducing chassis flex, ride harshness, and improving powertrain refinement. Left unchanged is the low street rod seating position. Top operation is manual, and it stores neatly under the clamshell trunk opening, although not leaving much room for luggage. Leaving the top up will increase your cargo space and take nothing away from the looks of the car. The driver faces a steering column mounted autometer tack, while the main gauges are placed in the center of the dash but canted towards the left for excellent visibility. The interior layout is the result of careful parts bin engineering with various bits scavenged from Chrysler's existing models, but the Prowler pulls it all together in a cohesive sporty look. The Prowler sticker price of $39,000 includes delivery and for 1997 at least, leaves no room for options. One color is all you get too, Prowler purple of course. Now Plymouth hasn't had a car to call its own since the 1969 Barracuda, but like that muscle car of yore, this Plymouth may just get too much attention. 